Good morning, everybody. This is Jennifer from A Country Life, and Joseph is in a grumpy mood today. He's supposed to be collecting the laundry, and he is not having it today. Anyway, you hear water running because our dishwasher is officially broken, broken, broken. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that in a video here yet. Sometimes I get behind on my editing and I forget what I've told you and what I haven't told you already. But anyway, last week, I think it was, I ran a load five times before it finally got some water. Actually, the pump was working and everything. So we have just, I have put a ban on the dishwasher, even though Sam is like, well, if there's a chance that water is going to pump, we should load it up. I said, no, because what happens is it puts all this extra work on me because every time it's done, I have to check to see if water pumped and if water didn't pump, I have to try to run it again in any way. It's just not worth it. So Sam and I have just been taking turns washing dishes by hand and it's actually really nice. I don't know about you, but I love opening the cupboards and getting actually clean dishes out. <laughs> That's such a treat. Joe, did you get all the laundry? Yes. You did? Yes. You're sure? Yes. Joe, did you wash off the um, dining room table? No. Okay, you need to do that. That's your job, right? Yeah. Okay. I have a washcloth for you right here, hon. You can use that to wash the table. Oops, that's my phone. <laughs> here, use this washcloth to go wash the table. Thank you. I have two pounds of ground venison and two small onions in here. I'm actually getting calico beans started for tonight's supper. So this is something I grew up on. It was like always just a standard gathering food. <laughs> my grandma would make it. My aunt would make it. I'm pretty sure that my mom made it at times, although my mom was always the potato salad one. But yeah anyway this is something that i really like it's not a huge family favorite though here but if you like beans and you like meat then you probably like this nick really likes this so that's why i'm gonna make a double recipe here i'm gonna keep some for us and then i'm gonna send some over to him now that the meat and the onion is all thoroughly cooked uh, at this point you could if you wanted to turn this into a crock pot meal i know that that's what the women in my family always did. They would end up putting this into a slow cooker. Um, I'm, I'm just going to use this. I already have it dirty, and I'm going to be home today, so it's not like you know I can't have it kind of simmering on the stove. So I'm just going to leave it in here. Over here, I have brown sugar, salt, vinegar, ketchup, and dry mustard in there. I will leave this recipe in the description box below just for like the single the single recipe. But I'm going to put all of this in here. I'm going to have to scrape that out, stir it around, and when it appears that everything is well mixed and the brown sugar is kind of like dissolved or nicely incorporated, I'll start adding in all the beans. My original calico bean recipe has a very specific list of six different types of beans that should go into it, and that is pork and beans, butter beans, lima beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, and garbanzo beans. Sometimes I don't have exactly those beans, and I'm here to tell you it honestly doesn't make a difference. At least it doesn't to me. I like the flavor of this, and so I only have one can of kidney beans today. I have two of these, what we, they call white kidney beans, some great northern beans, black beans, garbanzo beans, and only one pork and beans. But that's going to be okay. I'm going to add all these to, and I know this isn't 12 cans. It's only, what do I have here? I think 10 cans. Again, that's going to be okay. Actually, Warren, he likes it when it's more meat than beans anyway. So the kidney beans and the garbanzo beans, those beans I'm going to drain. Everything else, I'm just going to put the liquid and everything right in. There turned out to be a lot of liquid in the Great Northern beans, so I actually did just drain them just a little bit. Black beans, everything's going in. 
pork and beans, everything's going in. Kidney beans I drained. My garbanzo beans I drained. I actually have pre-cooked bacon in the freezer right now, the kind that comes from the store pre-cooked, uh, and I don't have any just, just raw bacon. If I had raw bacon, I would have fried up some bacon first in here, um, but I, didn't, I don't have that right now. So towards the end of the cooking time, I will add in chopped up pre-cooked bacon. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna let it simmer here. Actually, I have my gas heat to low, and I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a while on the stove here today until, you know, just to let the flavors kind of go through it and everything. Then, like I said, at the end, I'll add in some chopped up uh, pre-cooked bacon. And I do think that I'm gonna get started on making some of those crusty mini loaves. I made them in a uh, one of my videos already, and I believe that, yes, I'm pretty, I know I shared that recipe, so I will link to that. I still have some of that all brand cereal left, and so I'm gonna make some of those because uh, I do know that, like I said, this honestly is not my family's favorite. I love this so much and could eat this leftovers for days, but uh, I think if I have the mini loaves with it and then we serve it again with probably like applesauce or maybe I'll do canned peaches and pickles and what else would I serve it with? I think that's probably going to be it. That and the crusty mini loaves and that everybody will at least find something that they like. On a side note, uh, I don't even have my May once a month grocery haul video up for you guys yet. It's actually going to go up later today. And already the Pop-Tarts and two boxes of graham crackers are gone. Just a, just a FYI. And with the dishwasher broken, I did just wash up the dishes really quick. I've been trying to do that. Just keep a towel or two out here and some water, some hot water in the sink so that I can just keep the dishes going because otherwise, you know, <laughs> by supper time when it's time for Sam to do the dishes, it's like an enormous pile and I don't know, it just drives me crazy because a lot of times the things I need to use are sitting there dirty in the pile. I'm gonna set this to the, whoops, yep, dough cycle. I was just kind of referring to my meal plan here. I actually had rolls put down to have with calico beans because I have some of those frozen Rhodes rolls left from Easter still from when I made the lamb rolls. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm making the bread today. So we'll just save the rolls for another day. And we're gonna have cranberry sauce with that. And I have a refrigerator, uh, not full, but I mean, I have cranberry sauce that I made. So I do have that. And I was just kind of looking ahead. We're gonna be doing fish tacos most likely tomorrow night for supper. And then we are gonna be doing a chicken pasta in wine sauce. So I'm gonna take a peek at that recipe because that one is a new recipe. Let me see, I think it's in here. I started up this binder to keep track of all like the newer recipes that I want to, that I like print off and I want to give that I want to try because otherwise I was losing recipes all the time. Chicken pasta and wine sauce. Okay, so this calls for one pound of chicken breasts. Okay, well, I'm going to need definitely more than that. But anyway, all right, I'm going to go and get that out of the freezer to thaw so that is ready. You know, I'll just set it in the fridge so it's ready to make this recipe in a couple days when we're ready to make this. Just looking ahead, there's nothing that I need to prep for that, so that should be pretty easy to do. Okay, I have no idea why my bread machine is squeaking right now, but I did come and take a peek and... Sorry for that, that is really obnoxious. Um, and it did seem a little bit dry. So definitely, if you're using your bread machine, don't just walk away. You want to double check it in, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. You definitely want to add in about a, a tablespoon of water or a tablespoon of flour, depending on the consistency of the dough. So mine was looking dry. I don't know if today is a really dry day. Um, if that's what it is, if it's just, you know, very dry in the house, but it needed more water. So I put a little bit more water in it. I'm going to double check it in about two or three minutes just to make sure that that was enough. And if I need to, I'll add a little bit more.
I did three with sesame seeds, and this time I really wanted to try one with everything bagel seasoning. So I only did one like that, just in case we didn't like it. 375 degrees for 18 minutes. Peter and I decided here this afternoon that we wanted to try a bite of this everything I'm bagel bread. Have this one. So you're going to try that one? How is that with that seasoning? Amazing. It is amazing? Okay, I'll try wow. a bite too. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's even better than that. Mm -hmm. Wow. You mm -hmm. need to make another. Okay, with that everything bagel seasoning, that is very, very good. I do have to say, even though oh, this the recipe... Black seeds burnt. No, the black seeds are not burnt. Mm. They're, I think they are black sesame seeds. Mm. And then there's white sesame seeds, poppy seeds, a little bit of onion, like um, dried minced onion. There's this crunchy... Yeah, I think that's the dried minced onion mm -hmm. after it get, gets baked. Anyway, they even though this recipe is called mm. crusty mini loaves... I don't really think it's overly crusty. Mm -mm. No, it's much more of a soft bread. And so if you want it crunchy, but crunchy. I this like it soft. Mm -hmm. I know, me too. Me too. It has turned out to be a glorious day. I think the weatherman this morning said it was going to be sun-tabulous or something. Fan-tabulous. I don't know what he said. But any anyway, just a beautiful, beautiful day. Maria and I were just working out here in the front of the house, just kind of weeding. So... Yeah, this is our pile of weeds that we pulled, and now I'm going to put them in this wagon here and take them over to the chickens, because they'll love pecking through all of that. And then I have to grab my, my nippers, because this particular variety of spirea is not this variety of spirea. So I want to cut that one out, because I couldn't pull it. And then someplace... Oh, I have some dead boxwood over here, too, so I have to get rid of that as well. Oh, and there's another spirea <laughs> that that just decided to grow. Look at how lush and beautiful they grow though when they're not where they're supposed to be. But anyway, so I'm going to bring the nippers over and get rid of those. I do not like to get bugs in my eyes. <laughs> Call me crazy. But I don't, and so I always wear this kind of goggles. <laughs> I'm going to ride along with Warren here because he has to do, he has to replace a clip or something and he has to, what do you have to do? Set your monitors. That's it. Nice okay. goggles. Yeah, thanks. You like those? Yeah, those are awesome. <laughs> I think I look like a goofball in them. Oh, you're my goofball. Okay, good. <laughs> First stop is at the new bed because he wanted to check to see how wet it is. Yesterday he was a little bit concerned when we were putting in these stakes. He was a little concerned that it was going to be a little too wet for plowing in the tile. The tile is like great big, just like great big tubes that goes underneath and it helps to wick away the water. But anyway, he, it's dried out a lot. So that's good. Hopefully I can get traction. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but I think we will make some ruts, but we'll just have to clean those up after we're done. Yeah but it definitely dried out since yesterday, so I'm glad. All right, now this end, this end is too dry. <laughs> I don't know why this clip is missing. I don't know why either. I don't know. I didn't do it. I hear that all the time. It's probably Joe. Yeah, it's probably Joe. He gets blamed for everything. See, Poor kid. He doesn't. He he doesn't deny it. No, he doesn't. So he gets blamed for stuff that he probably didn't do. And if you would ask him, he'd say, "Yeah, I did that." Yep. This should be a sponsored video by Joe Lord. <laughs> All right. So. Just setting the thermometer for tonight. The night before, it got down to twelve. Oh <laughs> go. But. Everything got iced in. So you can see the buds are here and they want to grow. It's just been so dang cold. I mean, they're starting to move. That one's about a quarter inch long. And uh, yeah, some of these are approaching three eighths to a half inch. 
Mm. Everything just needs some heat. It's been so dang cold at night. We're getting ready to dish up the calico beans, so I just put in some of that pre-cooked bacon into it, and then I just sliced up a couple of these little loaves. Uh-uh, put that back. <laughs> You're going to wait until we pray. And then, uh, so we have some of this sliced up, the bread. Did you tell them about the sesame? Yes, the everything, bagel? the everything bagel was delicious. And then I, I put out a few bowls over. here as well to have cranberry sauce. So when I make my homemade cranberry sauce, I just put it into like canning jars, usually pint jars, but I had run out of those. So anyway, it's in a big jar. So we have that. And I think, I think that's going to be it for supper, right? I think so.